Okay, and we're live for week four. That's right, week four, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Four horsemen on my nature boy flow. That means we made it through the first month. So, thanks for sticking with me this far. Give us a round of applause. I think we deserve that. Yeah. Anyway, just want to let you know what we're going to do today. We have a guest. He is from my hometown in Long Island, New York. Um, we kind of grew up together, sort of, I mean, you know, same town, different districts, I guess you could say. I went to Sachem, he went to Connectquat, but all within the same Ron Compton umbrella. And, um, yeah, we're gonna talk and discuss his new single that just dropped, it's called True. It's streaming everywhere. I did not even know this guy did music. When I seen him post single dropping soon, I was assuming it was another hometown rapper. And then when I heard the track and I heard this man's voice, I was like, whoa, I was not expecting that at all. So we're probably going to play that today. Y'all will get to hear that on today's episode. And without, you know... Too much delay. We're just going to jump right into it here. I'm going to give him a call, and we're going to get things going. You know what I'm saying, man? Let's get into it. Our time is now episode four. Yo, what's good? Hey, how's bro? it going, brother? What's going Another on? Another day in paradise, man. Living the dream. Yo, my fault, bro. It worked. It, it took like 10 minutes for the session to open, and I'm like, what the hell's going on over here? Yeah, man, it happens to the best of us. The computers tend to freeze out with all the work going on, you know. The crazy part was, this is only my fourth episode, so I called Omar last night to do a sound check, got everything ready, and then when it came to it, I was getting signal, but nothing was coming through. All right, well, I'm glad we got it all worked out today. But what's happening with you, man? Another day in paradise, man. Just working on marketing right now. You know, the first track, you know, comes in with... Uh, you know, trials and tribulations and lessons learned. This is the learning process. Bro, I didn't even know you did music. Like, how long have you been doing music? Well, honestly, I've been singing my whole life, but I never put anything into my own work until uh, the last couple of years. Yeah, that's dope, though, bro. How long have you been in Cali now? I've been in California since 2017. Really? Yeah, because I know D was out there, right? Wasn't Darren staying with you guys? Yeah, he was out here for a minute. All right. Your brother's still out there? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure where my brother's at. He was in New York uh, this week. He literally, I think he flew out here somewhere, but I'm not sure what he's doing right now. All right. Well, yo, that's the place to be, though, is Cali, bro. If you're going to do that music, I was telling D to go hard with it. But, yo, bro, you're in the right place. Yeah, man. It, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. You know, it takes a little bit to actually get involved and get interactive and start talking to actual people. But, I mean, it really just comes down to uh, focusing on what you want to do. That's it, bro. Brick by brick, you build your foundation, and, you know, the rest just falls in line. Um, yes, sir. I, when I heard that, bro, like, I saw you post the promotion photo, like, and I was like, okay, he's making music. And I was expecting rap, dude, like, just because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, I was like, okay, he's going to rap. He's going to throw some bars down. And then when I heard the shit, the joint drop, bro, I was like, yo, this is him singing? I was like, I didn't know any of the Mount Fatone bros sung, but, I mean, from coming from when we used to play fucking softball down by the lake with Dennis and Freddie and everybody, I was like, damn, all these years, I had no idea. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, things are kept, you know, and unless you actually put the potential out there, it'll eventually get lost. Yo, bro, that, that, that track was super fire. Um, I, in, a, in a little bit, we'll even, I'll, I'll play it just to, you know, so everybody can hear it, let them know. Uh, that sounds great, know, man. It's, it's, it's a blessing. True. It's, it's, it's streaming everywhere you can stream music, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Play, pretty much everywhere, right? TikTok. Yep, title. Title. It, it might be on TikTok. I don't know what to do with TikTok right now. But right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know because who knows? They might shut it down. You know, I have you this never know. um this little game, bro, that I play. You know, with the guests just to break up the monotony. I don't even Sounds know what like I'm calling plan. it yet, but it's gonna be called, I guess, blame the cards. 
with these here pod decks. And uh, pretty much what I do is I just pick three random cards out the deck, ask you questions. So don't blame me, blame the cards. I don't even know what they're going to say. And Hey, man, that's the risk of playing the game. It, that's it. You know, break up the monotony, the, the make it more spontaneous. But uh, I'm going to kick you off with the first one right quick. Sounds good. It says, your fingers always feel sticky or your throat always feels itchy. Which one would you rather? Uh, I'd rather my feet, my hands, uh, you know, sweaty than sticky. Okay. You know, because it shows that I'm up and doing something. I'm active. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. And I mean, a throat being itchy right now is probably not good with this whole COVID. That sounds like a horrible plan for COVID right now. We'll get tested. Uh, number two, yo, would you rather have no eyebrows or an extra finger? I'd rather have an extra finger and much more to do it. Yeah, you're right. I could play on the keys, you don't know. That's it, man. Yo. Oh, by the way, do you do you produce too? You make beats? Uh, I've been working on it, uh, learning engineering and whatnot. I'm not a hundred percent professional. I'm not a master or a mixer or anything, but I could definitely put music together yeah bro um i just got this launch pad over here i'm still learning how to use this thing and then i got a little i got one of those here. too yeah but it, the launch pad x I'm yeah i'm kind of disappointed though because like it plays like loops and stuff so it pretty much does the work for you and i thought like i would like that but i want to play drums on it so i gotta right uh, there's other settings in there i'm still learning it myself it, it came with like that you can actually light. sit there and play the yeah but it, it, it's dope to get into but uh I, that's i think that's the next level for me is to really start producing you know i think uh it's definitely uh i mean that's the long-term goal as a whole i mean it's one thing to be an artist it's another thing to be your own business that's a fact it's a fact would would you rather have your head be too big for your body or your hands that are too small for your size i'd rather have a bigger head man it might fit some more knowledge in there that's it, man. No one need no one needs the the guy from Scary Movie. Like this is my strong hand, you know, reaching out. To the <laughs> shit. All right, I don't need no alligator fingers. What uh, have have you spoke to Parker at all lately? Recent Dennis. Dennis, yeah, yeah. I play with him on Xbox every so often. Bro, it's crazy you know? seeing him like have a family now, dude. I'm like, yo, that's what's up, man. But it's a whole nother world, time, man. Time is just zooming, bro. I don't know where the hell time is going, but it's going everybody's doing their own thing you know at the end of the day you know time goes by it's what you're doing with your time that's it you know are you focusing in on you know actual productive you know positive energy to you know build things build a foundation be able to help people help your family help whoever or are you just sitting there trying to blame the system and wonder why is it me why am i struggling you should sit there and put less thought into that and actually doing something I, I think a lot of people have that issue, though, you know, uh, and a lot of people want to blame other things. But I noticed myself, I caught myself being lazy during this whole process to the point where I, I got so much jitters. I'm just like, I can't watch Netflix no more. I got to fucking do something like fuck this shit. I can't stare at a screen. I got to even even making music, though, it was it was cool. But my phone's still in my hand. I'm writing that. I actually went back to a regular pad and pen because I was just like. Fuck it. It's, something it's that different. much better. Everything digital nowadays messes with you. I mean, there's always those conspiracy theories and whatnot about, you know, everyone getting truly affected on another level. I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, I will yeah. say is when you do it naturally, you know, the way, you know, the world and God or whatever you believe in was intended to have the world be. I mean, it seemed more natural. Do it yourself. Build it yourself. Create your skill. Master your skill. You know, if you're sitting there focusing on some digital screen or, you know, some TV or some ad or whatever, it's just going to manipulate you to do whatever it's telling you to do. You, you, I, I, you, you know, right. you feel sorry. And you limit yourself. And you limit yourself. Because you see things on TV or in the news and you're like, eh, I was thinking about that, but, yeah. you know, I've heard so many things, you know, what makes you think you're not that person to make a difference? You know, that's, that's, that's everybody limiting you. The only person that can limit you though is yourself. I, I, I like that because and that's I, why you got to say it's true. I, you know what, starting even back to you with the music, when you said like you, you've been singing your whole life and you just kind of picked it up and decided to run with it. And I, I, I agree because I said it in a song recently, it was like back to basics. And I said, you got to walk. I said, you got to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. 
and then but you better be ready to jump or something like that and pretty much the meaning of the bar was like okay i've come this far along in my journey but shit when i get to that point like not to be afraid to take that fucking next step like leap you better you better hop head forward or Damn right you know you yeah. might miss the wave or you're just gonna sit there and be like ah fuck <laughs> and then you came all this way to turn around and walk back nah bro i ain't following the yellow brick road back to kansas <laughs> no yeah, no but- but you, you know, know also, only, only up. it feels good to hear the paper, dude. You know, like there's something about that, like the crinkliness, the uh, fresh crispness of the paper. Just knowing you have all that room to play with. And and I mean, when your phone dies too, or you don't got a portable charger, you're like, shit, bro. I want to finish this song real quick. With a pen and pad, you never have to worry about that. You just no, it's just you being right here, focused in the zone. Doing what you do. Yo, even if the ink runs out, bro, I'd be like pushing hard as shit so I, I could like retrace imprint. it later. <laughs> My battery dies. Like, you can't do that shit on a cell phone. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yo, yeah, but that's what the pencil's for. We'll move, we'll move on with these little questions right here. Um, I don't know what deck this is from, but what is something you hate but you wish you loved? Why would I hate it then? I mean, it usually kind of goes based on your experience, you know, so, you know, things that you want to change, but, you know, you realize, you know, as you grow older that, you know, you try to focus on other people and you try to help other people, but they don't always want what you want. Yeah, yeah. No, you you right. know, and that's one of the things that's, you know, real hard to hate. You want to just love because you want to be able to, you know, go full force and help others and do, you know, the things that you know you can help them do. But if they don't want that, you can't make them do it. No, you're right. hundred percent. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's definitely a tricky question, though, because honestly, if you hate something, I mean, I guess like you wish you I, I would kind of wish I would love everything. But, you know, just everything's not for everybody. You know, it's easier said than done. Exactly. But what do you think is the most unpleasant sounding word or like, I guess, your most unpleasant sounding word? Right. Can't. Can't. People are like, nah, I can't do that. Ah, you know, I could, but. You know, you're like, why not? At least make what's it stopping you? Try you it. like, what's the, you know? You say you try, but you know, tries with intent to fail. You know, you got to go out and do it. And if you fail, then you at least learned you learned how not to do it. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? But to say you can't do something means, you know, if you say you can't, then nothing else is going to tell you you can. You know, you have to be able to work on yourself to be able to do things. I, I think you know, that, can't limit yourself. With your dreams, bro. You know, you're following your dreams, and uh, like you said, you know, you, you there's a wrong way and a right way, and you might have a thousand wrong ways before you finally hit the right way. But I mean, it's like the lottery, bro. You got to be in it to win it. Exactly. You know, Thomas Edison said it best. He's like, uh, I didn't look at it as, as I failed ten thousand ways to make a light bulb. He said, I learned ten thousand ways how not to make a light bulb, and he eventually he eventually made it. That's it. You're right. Most people don't even know what electric is, you know, yeah. like, what the fuck but they use it every day. And yo, it's always the ones who are like successful or, or, you know, like the ones who go against the grain that always get the backlash anyway, like you're a crazy motherfucker or whatever. And it's like, yeah, but why would you do that? Go get it. Go get a, go get a simple job. Go get a, you know, work nine to five job, you know, go, go, go get that with the 401k and your bowl and your benefits, you know? Yeah. But, after all that, I mean, what else you got? You literally, nice, you know, you become a slave to some sort of system that you need to be there. Otherwise, you don't get your basic income when you can sit there and work on yourself, work on a business and try to get something set up for yourself. I, I think it comes down to a lot of guidance and a lot of people that are fearful. I mean, we live in a world of followers, bro, whether it's on social media or whatever it is. Bunch of sheep. People are afraid to just be the leader. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I, I, I can't bring it back to the can't. Like, I can't, I can't yeah. run business. Well, if I, I can't, I can't risk what I have. I can't give up on, you know, whatever I have here. You know, you're not happy with it, but you can't give up on that. Like, why not sit there and struggle with something you want to do? Yep. Something you want to strive for. And you might get better results. You just don't know unless you try. Yeah, yeah, that's it, man. Yo, I mean, I, 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 the dreamers, we're, we're in a generation of dreamers and how many dreamers give up their dream too early before it's actually accomplished is a shame. Because it's bad. They, like, like back to the winning and failing, bro, the, 
only if you don't try is the only time you actually ever fail. So, I mean, you could try, try. Maybe you'll never attain your goal, but for never giving up, you actually lived your life and you, you've had experiences you other people you, die for. You know, things you fulfill your dreams for, man. Like, that's the whole point of the American dream, the American opportunity, you know, is the pursuit of happiness. You're not always going to be happy, but you're going to pursue happiness. Yep. It's a state of mind. It's, it's, it's momentary. You know, you could be happy. You drop this song. Boom. Oh, people like it. Boom. You know, it's a moment of happiness because it's work that goes into all of this. Of course. You know, it's not like, Oh, boom. I'm happy today. Great. I'm yeah. happy. You know, like sometimes you got to put on that face. You wake up knowing you're upset. And you're like, ah, I'm cranky, you know, but you got to look in the mirror and be like, you know what? Today's going to be a good day. That's it, man. You know, and that'll it and you make it. it'll manifest. You know exactly. You got to manifest. Put the smile on, even if you're feeling sad, because I mean, you don't know whose other day you're uplifting to. And it, with music, I think that's beautiful because you never know who's going through the shit that they hear the message and they relate to it. Hundred percent, man. You could be in a shitty point, and then somebody just on the park bench, like, "Yo, I heard your song, and yo, that shit helped me out." You know, like, "Oh, word, I right, cool." And it, it you know, your mood too. Know when you help that person. It's a blessing, man. Yeah. You know? Dude, I can't wait to hear more music from you. I'm going to actually pull the song up on YouTube. I don't know what's going on with this tablet today, bro. It's it's technology is just eating me today. It took me like forever to start this thing up. Man, they they used to make them the last. Now they make them so they fall apart within a year or two. So you can buy a new one or they go, oh, we got the upgraded that version. That cost twice the price. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, upgraded for two years? All right, we got to make these phones only last two years. Two and a half. But I'm, I'm going to pull this song up. We'll let the people hear it. I'm going to just play it off the tablet for now, and then I'll I'll like copy it in later in, in post-production. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is True by Nicholas Malfatone. Search this on anywhere where you stream music. Yo, it's such a smooth vibe. I don't know what she hates me for But I tried and tried to find my way back into her heart All the money and all the candies All the flowers that had come in June will take away the pain I found the letter that she wrote There was thought in what she spoke was Magic, this was magic, and that's where. 
understand this place where we're in. I don't understand. I don't understand this weekend. I don't understand. I don't understand this place where we're in. I don't understand. I don't understand. Let this be okay. Let there be no strains. Let it just be true. by yes. Nicholas Malfatone that joined his banger. We even got the live performance out of it. <laughs> yeah, man, that was the first one. You got to see the, you know, the people of that. Yo, hey, in, in, a, in an age full of Zoom meetings, Zoom comedy shows, Zoom performances, it's nothing new, you know? It's, it's just the first time in a new age. <laughs> that's it. That's dope, though, bro. That's, that's fire. Yo, how long it took you guys from, <clears throat> like, onset production to completion of the song well honestly uh back in april i was uh actually working on this track of my own i went to go see a friend that uh i needed some assistance with on the mixing and the mastering of a track and uh, i had another person with me i don't really want to get into it but uh Long story short, we, he was showing uh, me and him some of the new, uh, some of his new beats that he had, and that one kind of popped out. And I initially kind of like, you know, I just uh, got in an argument with some family about something, and uh, kind of led me right in there. So when I was originally just going to show one of my tracks to get fixed, he ended up showing a beat that I had a feeling for, and I was just like, I was really feeling it, and I started, you know, singing out the chorus. Right. You know, and uh, they were both just like, shit, we should get this on wax. And you said, you know, I was like, all right, let's do it. That's what's up. But that, that kind of, yeah. did that give you like the jump start to like, just be like, yo, this is, like, I want to do this shit now. Yeah, like, that's kind of where the all, I got an argument with my family and it was kind of like, you know what? I should be doing this. Yeah. You know, and God gave me these gifts, man. I just want to use them to the best of my ability. You know, yeah. um, it, it's the best thing, though. I mean, it sucks to go through like any sort of turmoil or any hard times. But music is like God's greatest gift when it comes to that, because it's it's the most amazing thing to get your emotions out through the pen and just, you know, positively, productively, positive yeah. energy, you know, to be able to put it into an actual art. You know, it was just a blessing, you know, and then uh, long story short, it was initially going to be a hip hop track. Yeah. But then. uh like I said, the other person I was working with, uh, we kind of, you know, separated ties. And uh, within a week, uh, I rewrote, we rewrote the song, different lyrics, you know, new lyrics and everything, and uh, put it on wax and then published it. And then a week later, it dropped on the 30th. That's just dope. You did it through, uh, was it United Masters? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was, I was looking into them recently, actually, too. Uh, somebody had told me about them. And uh, I just I, I go through Distro Kid now, so I wasn't really needing another distributor, but I, I, I looked them up just to check them out anyway. And yeah, no, nah, I've heard nothing but good things. They seem you to know, be doing really great things. That's what I've heard too. And I mean, you just released the song like what a couple of days ago. Yeah, I released it on the thirtieth. On the thirtieth, yeah. So like, not even four days. Ago, bad, already you know, like five hundred yeah. views on YouTube or something, and I was like, yo. YouTube's the hard one to get streams on, bro. Like, you try to get people to search stuff on YouTube, and it's like the biggest, most expansive library of whatever. Sometimes things get lost. In the yeah. Place. 
jumble. So, I mean, that's a very, that's a nice little milestone right there, especially for your debut single. Yeah, man, I appreciate YouTube that. If you doing numbers, bro, think like Spotify, Tidal, and all the other things that everybody just listens to music on. Right. You know? You know, it's a blessing, man. But, yo, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some more stuff from you in the future, man. You trying to do like an EP or something? That's eventually the goal, man. Right now I'm marketing this track. You know, I'm not in a rush. You know, I kind of feel out my music. I want it to make, you know, I want it to mean something when I make music. Yeah. And on top of the fan base. But I really just, when I make music, I want it to mean something. You know, it took me 27 years to make one song. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's going to take another 27 or anything crazy like that. But what I'm saying is if I'm going to get into it, you know, I, I got to feel it. It's got to be right. I don't want to release anything just to release it. I'm going to release it because I feel that this is something that people are going to hear, people are going to listen to, and people are going to want to hear. You know, it hits them at home. Hip-hop, it's hard. A lot of people do want to just, we're in the feed, the content age, so it's consistently dropping shit. But we're dropping bullshit, bro. Like, we're not the timeless music anymore. Like the Beatles or something you could throw on from like 40, 50 years ago and be like, this shit's hot. Zeppelin, you know, like I, I, mean, I still listen to T-Pain and Lil Wayne from like 07, but the stuff they're putting out now, they're just pumping shit out now. I can't listen to that. A lot of, a lot of everything's based on current events and whatnot, which is cool and all. And don't say you got to be backdated, but you can folk. I, that's why one of the things I really enjoy about singing rather than rapping is when you sing, you know, it's more personal emotional it's more uh, emotional based on you know stuff you're going on in your life not really so much about everyone else mm -hmm. you know what i mean so when it comes down to it when i'm making music you know it's about experience i'm going through that someone may be going through more personable rather than just you know covid or you know, the president or whatever, you know, politics, religion, whatever. I feel like it consumes you know? way too much of people's mind space and it's really not healthy, bro. I mean, it's a lot no. of health issues spawn from that because you just... How are we supposed to grow as people if we're sitting there focused on all the nonsense being fed by the media? Yeah. You know, we need to sit there and focus on ourselves because you could blame whoever you want. But at the end of the day, if you ain't doing nothing to better yourself and put yourself in a different position, I mean, what else you got? Yeah. Yo, I, I, I said it in a song recently, too, and I said, how come we can't have a healthy debate without it escalating the violence? And it's so sad and it's so bad that in 2020, civilization is really not as advanced as it could as we could be, as we should be. And I think it, it is the truth because, like, family gatherings even, bro, you bring something up at, like, Thanksgiving dinner and someone agrees. They're going to dead you, bro. Like, we disagree. Like, there's no, like, okay, like, agree to disagree. You you got your opinion. I got mine. There's no agree to disagree. I'm more like, damn, like, this is America. Like, all of us have our own opinions. That was, like, what makes us different than the rest is we have the right to be like, no, nah, I don't feel like believing you. That's it. And that's that. Go vote. You know, left, right, up you the know? middle, whatever the fuck, bro. You know, wherever you want. Yeah. <laughs> you have vote the for these nuts, bro. I care. We have, you know we what have I mean? Like, change, but we don't utilize it all the time. You know, you know that's why we got to sit there and just stay focused on what we got going on. Yeah. And I mean, living in that small minded mind state, you can't expect change. Trying to force your views upon somebody else, bro. It's like religion. Like you got to be Catholic, you got to be Christian, you got to be this, that, the third, or you're sinning, or you're going to hell, or you're burning, or whatever the fuck. To yeah, each their it's own, like, bro. That's you. That everyone has their own life, you know. Exactly. Like everyone believes what they want to believe. You can't make anybody, you know. It's kind of like you can't. You can lead a horse to water, you can't make them drink. Yep, hundred percent. You know. But by the time he leaves that well, he might wish he took a drink. But that's up to him to exactly. decide later on. That's that's between him and you know that's, that's between him and his creator you know whoever that is hundred percent man hundred percent um three three silly mistakes you would avoid in life or to avoid in life I'm sorry so so just advice three silly mistakes to avoid in life what do you feel they would be um I guess uh public humiliation all right. You know, it's something to try to avoid. I mean, you can't always avoid it. You know, we're growing as, you know, we're all human. None of us are perfect. Sometimes it's, but, uh, sometimes yeah, it's you know, for your humility, you know, like, oh. Yeah, I mean, even up. if you do, you know, it's what it is. That's why, like, I don't really regret anything when it comes to silly mistakes. It's only silly if you don't learn from it. That's it. Yeah. If you keep repeating yourself over and over and wondering why the hell I got the same outcome, something's not right. You know, you know, that's where the silly mistakes come in. Like, you keep doing it. It's silly. Like, how do you keep doing that to yourself? Yeah. yeah. You know? I would say even, like, don't don't shit where you sleep. 
You know, I, I think that's right. the terminology. Yeah, that's, I don't you know, know. Don't, don't eat where you don't eat where you, uh, shit where you sleep. Shit where you sleep. Don't where you eat where you did. Yeah, you know, there's a bunch of them. They're they're all thrown around there, jumbled. But, but you know, try not to. You know, try to keep uh, business and pleasure separate. One thing I can't stand is drama in the workplace. You know, like I've done yeah. cubicle jobs, banks, and this one's sleeping with who, and this one over here, and this one's and all the gossip. Like everyone's in high school. Up. Yeah, yeah, because because you're bored. Because you're literally sitting in a fucking cubicle all day long, and you got nothing to do with life but go start shit, bro. Yeah, I, I was watching Shameless the other day, and uh, at the end of one of the episodes, it said like. It said, like, rich people are always creating drama because they're bored and poor people just live drama. Yeah. Like, you know, shit just happens to poor people. Like, we're like, ah, fuck this. But, like, rich people are so bored by getting pampered and their ass wiped that they have to go out and start shit. And I was like, yeah. Find problems. Yeah. You're yeah, like, that like, makes you complete sense. You never had to struggle for a thing a day in your life, so. And you wonder why you sit there complaining that daddy won't give you fucking 10 grand. Yeah. You yeah. know, like. I didn't have that growing up, you know, I didn't have any of that bullshit, you know, I, I had to, you know, when I got, you know, I'm blessed to have my family, but at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people are spoon fed and entitled and don't have the uh, ability to desire anything for themselves. Yeah, yeah. And then when they look in the mirror, they get upset and they lead usually, you know, they lead to, you know, blaming others, abusing their own body or blaming themselves, you know, blaming the people around them or, you know, escape trying to hide from it, you know, instead of just focusing on it. Like, all right, well, if I ain't doing shit, what can I do? You know, that's another step people could take. But, you know, that's up to them to decide. It, it, everybody comes, it comes at a point in someone's life. Some people maybe not so much or, or they, they, you know, take their life, whatever. I know a couple people, but. Uh, you know, I, I definitely sucks, understand that. But, man. You know, it is rough. It might take but... you till you're 30, 40 years old before you realize to I want to chase my dreams now because I I did this corporate job or I did this and even people who have all the money you know like it, money doesn't buy happiness so you got to just yeah. do what the fuck makes you happy and whether it's a stream of income or not hobby music right now you know starting out not going to be making millions of dollars like I got a record deal quit my job fucking tomorrow but you could build that foundation to finally build the castle and then say you know what fuck all this other shit all right I'm good I'm set That's you know it. what I mean but until then I'm hard working work. I'm grinding you know what I mean hard work beats talent when talent stops working hard That's it yeah yeah that's a good quote bro that's a pretty dope quote Um uh, I, I I agree with that actually 100% that's a pretty hard ass quote I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to remember that. Write that down and start telling people that because a lot of people out there, you know, like, are wasting talent trying to be a perfectionist. And I've learned just push content out there to to get your message out. If it if it has a good message, don't just push bullshit out there because you want to go viral. But if right. you have something that you feel is could be life changing towards you or another individual, put it out. Like, don't waste your talent trying to be a perfectionist. Right. But, if you are a perfectionist, I guess go to a studio and just make sure that they can get that shunt done. Because right, hundred percent, man. Because I can engineer other artists like a motherfucker, man. But when it comes to me, I was like, I gotta have someone else do it. I can't do my voice. Yeah, I can't do my own. You know, that's like I can't. Like I, I can practice, studio, but I I'll do your EP right now in three days. Me, I'll do an album in fucking three years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. hundred <laughs> percent, man. I understand that completely. But uh, I don't know. It, it's a gift and a curse being an engineer because your vibrations come out different too. So like, I love doing all my stuff myself. Like beats might be easier, but to hear your voice back and you're like, I want it to sound like this. I want it to sound like that versus how you hear it in your head. It's hard, bro. And you're it's like, hard. damn, that's not how I want it to sound. And you're like, damn. Now I gotta adjust this. Now I gotta adjust that. Now I gotta re-record. I miss I miss just the atmosphere of the studio too, going in feeding off other people's creative energy too. Hell yeah, man. The home, the that's home one of the things that's but... kind of rough about being. Yeah, the home setup's always nice, you know. It's but yo, but it's where, like where you know you, you gotta be around. I'm in San Diego. San Diego, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know Cali. Yet. That's the one place. All right, so I'll put it to you this way: L.A. is like two hours north on the water. San Diego is like 25 minutes from the border uh, on the water. It's a military town. Okay. How, it's on the water. How far There's are you beaches from San Francisco? Like, 
Those are the like nine, days. like eight, nine hours. Eight to nine hours. Damn, bro. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's California is like 80 percent of the coast, you know, and then you got like Oregon and Washington. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oregon and Washington. I was going to say Nevada. That's next to it. But uh, yeah, bro, yeah. it is. It is a big state, but it, it's the place to be for music. I mean, I don't know, bro. I just feel like people are more inclined to listen to you out there. New York, we've always had this like Timberlands and fucking bundle up. Fuck you. We're cold, bitch. Cold hearted. Yeah. Like, cold hearted. Fuck, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck Unless it's hustle, just bro. Fire, like, like, like I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. Hand 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 the mixtape out. Someone looks at it. Fuck this guy, bro. Yeah. Fuck them. I don't care if it's good. That's it. You know. But uh, you know, I feel but like Cali that's why you gotta keep moving. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll check it out in my car. Like people are more chill. Hang loose. Yeah, I mean, it's a different era, too. I mean, mixtapes and all that, you know, that's yeah. kind of when you know, we first all kind of, you know, we're growing up and shit, you know, but yeah. now it's like Dude. everything digital. You go check it out. Click, click. Oh, okay, hold on. I got a story for you. Me and Freddie made oh, yeah. mixtapes. We had mixtapes like this back in the day. Bro. Yeah. This is actually I remember Jerry Robinson. This is one I, I handed out up here to get his music out. But me and Freddie were at Watkins Glen, bro, NASCAR, handing out mixtapes. <laughs> Freddie must have been the only black person in all of there. fucking upstate New York at that time period, bro. It's like 200, uh, this is 2008, 2009, like we were in high school and we're handing out mixtapes and we're drinking. So we, we were probably like 17 drinking like wine coolers and beers and shit, whatever, light work. But we're handing out mixtapes. And like I said, 250,000, 300,000 people. Freddie's got to be the only black person you saw there all the weekend. Bro, and he's dressing like New York, <laughs> New York, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pants, the the, two XCs, the fucking baggy sweats, yeah, two XCs, the double bro. X's. The fitteds, it wasn't even snapbacks, weren't even back yet, it was 59 fitteds, no. bro. And we're handing out mixed We had one fitted. girls look at us, bro, and they were like, you guys rap? And it was they were like country a little bit, and we're like, yeah, you know, check out our mixtape. And they're like, ha, ha, okay, and they were like walking away and shit, but I still to this day yeah. wonder if they looked at it or if they were just like, fuck these guys. <laughs> Oh shit! I just want to make sure I didn't have it anymore. You know, nah. it was just like me and Freddie did a show. You never know, two man. Years, bro. We did we did a show there two years in a row. Though we went one year, we we did a couple songs, and then the lady was there the next year because everybody pretty much gets the same like sites. And she was like, "Oh, you guys should perform again." So she let us do like two or three songs that time around, and it was pretty. Oh yeah, cool. that's cool. But, you know, yeah. A bunch of drunk white people from upstate New York who have no idea what it's like to be around a black person. Like they're like, "Yeah, hey, guys!" Like they're listening to rap. Yeah, they're like fuck rap, bro. I had one dude come up to me like, "You're like a real slim shady. Can you sign my shirt?" And I was like, "Dude, come on, <laughs> fuck out of here." No fuck out of here. I can't stand that shit. The curse of being a white rapper getting compared to Marshall everywhere you go. Every everybody's compared to Marshall in this industry, I mean, don't bro. Get me wrong, bro. I mean, without him, I wouldn't have the footwork or the foundation to be able to do what I do. But I mean, you know, that's like every rapper saying, "Well, Big Daddy Kane or you know, Cool G Rap's got to be your icon," you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But uh, let's keep Not going, bro. I, I say, uh, what what characteristic yeah. are you most known for? Uh, dedication. Dedication. Focus. All right. Sounds good. What's your favorite gadget? My vocal. Okay, shit. Yo, I was not expecting that. I was like, phone, fucking video games, whatever. Nah, I don't care about none of that. That's dope. That's dope. I, my birthday was yesterday, and I put my phone aside the whole day, and I felt less depression than I have all year, bro. I was like, I should it's have it's the whole nother beast, man. Like, you, you don't realize how depressed you get sitting on that thing all day. I don't know, sitting there looking. All of a sudden, you go. It's like thirty minutes, and you're sitting there just going through ads. You're like, it's a matter of. Oh, was I really just doing that for like thirty minutes? But we about oh, ads shit, I go outside. Well, no, I'm talking about on your phone. Your anything, yeah. Fucking commercials, skip, 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 and all of a sudden you went through like four seasons of a show, and you're like. Damn, it's already 11 o'clock at night? Yeah. What's going on here? You know, like, right. that's just depressing. And, and I think... When I, you could have spent the whole day outside doing something. I think that's why time seems like it's going fast, though, because, like, I mean, like, try to live 10 minutes without your phone, and you're like, holy shit, like, day's going slow. Like, if you're not working, oh, yeah. like, if you're at work, your job, different story, you're staying busy, but... Yeah, like, it's, that's a whole other story. 
free leisure time, it's like, yo, today was actually a very long day. I got a lot of shit done today. I went swimming, fishing, kayaking, tubing, like, holy fuck. Yeah. And I still got a whole another day. That's all it. right, cool. You know, but when you stare at your phone all day, you're like, yo, you're not doing nothing with life. So time just. It goes right past. It's you're like sitting there looking at the time, looking at the time tick on the freaking TV. You know what I mean? Like. It's like Most shows nowadays are all timed. You know, it's like 40 minutes to at least an hour and 30 minutes, if not more, you know, each show. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, it's, it's not like anything's 15, 20 minutes no more. Plus the fact that we can just stare at our screens and watch like Netflix or Amazon now. We don't need And totally TV. be, and people are just content with that. Be in the airport. You know? Like, oh I, shit, my plane's about, I'm about to miss my I flight. Catch, I, I catch myself doing stuff like that. And you're like. Fuck, dude! I gotta put that thing down for a second. Like I'm fucking put on the charger in another room. <laughs> you know, I gotta get the hell out. You know, go outside Set and shit. Timers and shit to remind yourself, like, oh, six o'clock. I have this, or like, uh, give me a twenty minute reminder now. I- I've caught myself doing it because I'm. Like, yeah. I know. Hey I Siri, you don't even gotta type it no more. They have people going, "Hey Siri, can you set up my appointment for this day at this time?" All right, cool, thanks. Click, and it's already all right. Saved. And you're I like, can't stand that shit because I have an Alexa. I, I don't even remember here. where I'm going half the time because everything's GPS. Yeah. Alexa over here. Every time I say your name, she pops on. <clears throat> I think I unplugged her for the show to be on the safe side because sometimes you say a word and she'll be she'll trigger in the background. She'll like, be talking in say? the back. And I'm like, nah, I ain't trying to talk to you. I, I'm not in No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not oh, understand yeah, no. what you were saying. I know you did it because it wasn't directed towards you. <laughs> <laughs> you must have misheard me. <laughs> you got any uh any cool like apps you use lately, like or or anything like to help pr- with m- music promotion? Uh, well, I just checked out Zier. I literally just uh set it up for a week campaign. I'll see how it works. What's it called? Zier Z uh, I R E. Oh, okay. And what does that do? It's, it, it's like your it's, uh, you? it's like a marketing promotion uh website. Okay. So I'll see how it works. There's one that somebody put me on recently. I can't think of the name right now, but I'll send you uh, a link to it. And it takes like a clip of your song and it like makes it ready for like social media. For, you could do it for like Facebook stories or regular Instagram. But like you could take like just the important clip and post a uh, headliner. It's called Headliner. And it just okay, like, I'll have to check that like, out. The headlines little clip, something simple. So you could just like throw it up on like your Facebook story and be like, yo, check the new song or whatever. But, uh, you know, just do bits and parts at a time. So this way, sometimes people hear it and they're like, oh, shit, I got to check this out. Rather than like oh, yeah. some people like 10, 20 seconds in, like before the drop comes in, they just want to like, all right, skip next song. But sometimes you hear it yeah. and you're like, oh, shit, you know, what the fuck was I missing? <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, bro, um, I definitely want to we, we got a link too. we should do some we should do some work. I mean, I would love to do hey, that. Hey, man, that'd be cool, cool man. Uh, uh, you just singers. send me the itinerary. You come check it out out here. Yeah. And you can uh, tell me a thing or two on Logic and uh, yeah. Ableton. A little, little bit, you know, a little bit. Like I said, Ableton just came with this push. I'm still learning it. Everybody's like, it's great. It's confusing as hell for me, though. Everything's so Yeah, I, I'm with you on that, too. It's, it's like very confusing. It's tiny, bro. It's like, what? I got Ableton like a month, a month and a half ago, and I got the launch pad like, like the same week. Yeah. So uh, I'm still learning how that works. Like I saw someone, like I had someone come here, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I, I did raves and whatnot." I was like, "All right, cool. Check it out. Let's see what you got on. I want to do like a, give me like a pop trance." Yeah, yeah. You know, it, beat, it, it's and he's just that. like, like for, tr- he's I, just I, like, like, all right, yeah, I got you. And he starts going through the whole launch pad and everything, and starts setting up the beats on each fucking like, Channel. put um, like, all right, this MIDI, all right, boom. Da-da-da-da. I'm like, how the fuck are you doing that, bro? I don't even know how to get there. Yo. Music you know, he's like crazy son of a bitch, bro. It's it's the you biggest, know most confusing thing in the world. I think is the music industry. That's because it's the universal language. Yeah, but video, like visuals, you could see video and be like, all right, that looks cool, that looks cool. But sound, it's like everything in the in the universe. Like if you could be deaf every little long, pop, every little every little dry, you every, know, every, every breath, little breath. thing. If you if you had to be deaf or blind, what would you do, bro? I'd be deaf. I'd be blind. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, people go, "You're crazy." I'd have to see the world. I go, but if I can't make music doing the thing I love, I'd go fucking insane. I'd go insane, dude. Like insane. that's the one thing that keeps me calm. You know, uh, that's why I got into the engineering. Now I'm uh, getting to go to the LA uh, production school that they have. I'm uh, doing the engineer school with them, starting another month. Dope. 
Uh, I was going to the art Institute out here and then it closed. So I got like six months of training. I got like the basics on pro tools. I basically learned what I needed to do and then how to perfect it is basically on my own time. It comes you know, down to so like it, certain plugins, bro. Every, every engineer, you're going to build like your select toolkit and your, those are going to be your go-tos all the time. Like you're, you're, you're like this, thousands hundreds of thousands of eqs you're gonna find one that works for you you're gonna find a compressor that works for you and you're gonna say this is the one i fuck with yeah and you might use it for like a year two three years and then come along something else will come along or you'll discover I'm completely one. different I fuck with this one now you know like waves is uh is a number like number one brand in america is waves i feel like every studio okay. has waves but uh if you just go to waves and you know, like there's a lot of like I use a lot of like CLA Chris uh, Chris Lord Algae or Alg. I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, CLA okay. plugins like they have a vocals one. It gives you like your low end, your high end, your compressor, your reverb, and uh, stereo. stereo. All on the they all the one plugin. One little plugin. It's not like for fine tuning, but it's nice to like glue your mix together. Like throw it on like your sub mix. If you have like all your vocals stacked, like put it on all of them and then in individually EQ each one. But uh, it, it brings it together nicely. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, man, you're just gonna find what works for you. I mean, the, now now with Auto Tune, there's Auto Tune and there's like twenty other wannabe plugins that come out with Auto Tune. Waves Tune has one. Waves Tune Real Time and all these pitch correctors. You're gonna just find one that works for you if you if that's in, if you're into that. Oh yeah. Thing. I definitely have to check them all out, man. That's the fun of being an engineer. You kind of learn your own way to do it. What do you use, your PC or Mac guy? I got a Mac. Mac? All right. So uh, I'd say best bet is Pro Tools or Cubase. I, I love Cubase. Okay. I do I've that. heard of both. So. I, I used to use Cubase in both seasons. And then when I went to tech school, REI, I went to, and everything was Pro Tools, Pro Tools. And I was like, but I learned. Yeah, there. Pro Tools is the industry standard. Yeah, it, it always has been. But that's, that's, but Avid is so money hungry. Like, I ain't paying you no 12 You got to do the iLock. You got to do the Pro Tools. You, you can't buy it out. It Nowadays, you can to. only. You used to be able to until like a year, like a year, a couple of years ago. I have Pro and Tools now it's and I, I all subscription. It. Yeah, yeah. I have Pro Tools 8. I use 8. And it's like, do you want to upgrade? And it's like, and pay you guys extra $100 a year? Fuck you. I make like five songs a year. A year. Yeah. I mean, like... A month, a month. It's like 12 bucks a month or something. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I'm good. Like, I might not even put out a song this year. I might, I might even touch my laptop maybe three times a month. And you want me to pay you $12? Like, yeah. No it's matter not, what, it's not worth it for me. There's any any door could do it. Any audio workstation does the same exact thing you do. It's a matter of your plugins, your ear, and your skill. You know, like you're yeah. gonna, you're gonna learn that too. Like it don't matter. You don't need Pro Tools, bro. Pro Tools is just the standard. It's it's like everybody wants that Lamborghini, but you don't fucking need it to get to work. Right. Yeah. You know? But um, yo, man. We'll wrap it up here. You know, I don't want to keep you too long. I appreciate you coming on. Discuss shit. Nice chopping it up. Yeah, thank you. you for your time. You know, yo, thank you, man. I'm, I'm going to get this out there. I'm, I'm going to start working on everything. Should be up sometime this week. I'll have it up. That right, sounds great, brother. We'll go out with one more of these questions. If you could marry a fictional character, who would it be? <laughs> That childhood uh, crush kid. Which one? I don't know, man. That's the fucking problem. Uh, very well. Um, the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. Pink Ranger, yeah, you know. That was definitely one of the options. Yo, I want uh, to try to get her on the podcast, bro. That's a goal of mine. I think I'm going to try. Amy hey, man, one day you might get it. Be like, yo, come on. You're, you're like everybody's favorite childhood crush next to like Topanga and like the others. Yeah. But uh who who you got, kid? Who you got? <laughs> who I got? Uh um Damn. I mean my life was always a little uh hectic, so I you know, I couldn't go wrong with Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Hey man, that's a nice that's a nice one because everybody loves a nice At least you know bitch. she's smart, you know. Yeah. <laughs> she's smart and crazy. Now she's usually how they work. Everybody loves a nice psycho bitch that's gonna fuck up your life, right? Yeah, and that's your job to keep that from happening. Yeah, but yo, fucking, it's been real, brother. I'm going to go start putting this shit together, get my corn in the pop cob, Popeye the Sailor Man flow on. 
Sounds good, brother. I may join you. Yo, sounds good. Yo, I'm I'm so jealous that you're out there and like New York hasn't got his head out there ass yet to finally follow suit, follow through. But what you gonna do? Yeah, you know, New York and Cali have their own ways of being, uh, you know, left wing, but. Yeah. I can't uh, I'm just like, discuss no, too just much. Legalize about. it already. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on. Get it over. Make it legal everywhere. Make yeah. everything legal everywhere. Because it's really. The government shop to regulate what? Yeah. Us? You know. Honestly, forget about it. If they just tax it like cigarettes and shit, bro, I'm still going to get on the black market, but they'll make a shitload of money on it. So fuck the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies. Make a million dollars, billions, trillions of dollars on weed, and you'll be all right. Balance the scale. Yeah, man. It's a whole nother game. I mean, pharmaceuticals, you only have half the population hooked. Marijuana, you got at yeah. least three quarters. <laughs> yeah, you got to whoever is not talking about it. That's it, man. Because <laughs> everybody's afraid to talk about it. I mean, make it more open and people just... What is, yeah, yeah what is that to say? Like, oh, you can sit there and pop fucking bikes and perks and no one gives a shit. But you say, I smoke a blunt. Everyone's like, whoa. Yeah, bro, I met my you whole can, life You, can, you can talk about white. You can talk about white, and people are like, oh, yeah, 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 you play white, cool, I play white. But you talk about weed, people are like... Yo, think about it like this. I don't know if your family was the same way, but my family was always telling me, like, whatever you put on the internet's gonna be there for life. They're like, stop that, don't put pics of you smoking blunts up, like, a jobs look for that. I'm like, I'm 15, I ain't even fucking looking for a job. And then MySpace went and deleted our whole childhood. Yeah. Sayonara, no, no pics of me smoking blunt on the internet's no more. Maybe Facebook has one. I don't give a shit. MySpace and all that, yeah, one, that was once crazy. They got bought out and uploaded to their new server. There was like a news article I was reading, like how MySpace erased your whole generation or something. And I was like, I had like ten years of photos on there. Every I got back in my MySpace, everything's. Different. I remember the top four, top eight, top, top eight. twelve. Yeah. You know, you'd you'd cut, you'd actually do the coding for your fucking website. That's why they to actually. It. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're learning too much. Yeah, yeah, we can't oh, have them do kid, that. Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Facebook. So we'll, we'll do it for you. And I, I've, I've said that too. I go, bro, you actually had to like learn how to HTML, put different boxes in places. Like I remember doing layouts for people now. You had to find the wallpapers and everything. You go on the websites and I change your wallpaper. I wouldn't even know where to start now, bro. I tried to learn Java and all this other shit. And I'm like, it's beyond me now. Yeah, it's another game. But yo, salute to you. Uh, you want to drop any of your handles, like where they can find you? Well, I mean, if you guys want to check me out, uh, I'll be on Instagram. You check out the United Masses page. It'll be on my Facebook. I have a business page for the Facebook that I'd like everyone to check out, like, Nicholas, share, Nicholas stream. Nicholas Malcatone, right? On, on also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two T's, one F. Mm -hmm. Uh, on on Instagram, it's Nikki Malfatone. Okay, and with a y. a y. All right, all right, and it's one f two t's m a l f e t t o n e. Yes, sir. All right, yo, for I was I was googling and I was like, is it fucking two t's one t? I, I had to like look back at your Instagram and I was like, yeah, man, uh, sophisticated. Yeah, man. Well, for some reason, I don't know, bro. I, I just I remember for some reason I remember it being like m a l f e t o n e, but I think I was just always doing that sounded out shit, you know? Yeah, like <laughs> the uh, phonetic detail. But yo, bro, yeah. it's been real, man. So hey man, it's been a pleasure. Thank sure you for you your time, brother. That true. No, thank you, brother. And we'll we'll do it again soon, bro. Hopefully, you got some new releases in the future. We'll get back. Yes, sir. Sounds good, man. Have a good night, guys. You too, my man. Peace out, brother. Okay, and that's a wrap on episode four. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to go follow him on that social network link that you had just seen. Uh, for some reason, something happened with the footage at the end there, and I lost footage for the second week in a row, but bear with me, it's only episode four, so we're working out the technical difficulties. Today was a crazy day for me and technology. We were not getting along all day today, um, but we managed to pull through, you know, so without any... Um, Anything else to say here? Uh, we're going to wrap it up. I just heard a ding, and I looked, and I thought something was up, but nothing is up. But uh, we are good. I thought it was going to stop recording audio here, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, 
Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, be sure to go follow him on all socials. Shout outs again to Poddex for just, you know, mixing it up today's episode. And um, we'll be coming to you soon live. It's our time, baby. Our time is...